Hello and welcome to episode 3. Today we'll be making the piston rod, the other one, and all of the piston pins, including this one right here, the piston ring. So let's get right into it. The first thing is this. Let's analyze how this picture looks like and where, where are we going to start from. As we can see, this is the top view and we have a section AA or basically the side view. Now, we can see some symmetrical things like if you look at this, it is symmetrical, the upper and down parts. If we look at this part, if we make this, that means this is symmetrical to this, which means there's two of these things. One of these things over here and another one down here. The hardest part really is going to be to draw this because it's not a regular rectangle. As you can see, it starts with 26 and ends with 18. Here as well, it's like 42 and now it's 18. That's gonna be a little bit hard, a little bit difficult to do, but we'll manage somehow. Let's get right into it. So the first thing first, the first thing we are going to do is draw this little circle. It might be looking a little bit pixely, but this is 63. So let's make that circle right away. So get into our follow along precisely because I'm going to be using mirror a lot and you're going to have to follow my exact steps if you do not want to make a mistake. So select the X and Y plane, get in and select your circle command and make it 63. We do not want the holes yet. Okay, we do not want these holes. The holes are gonna be the last thing we do, except these holes, we can do these right away. There's no problem of doing them. So, because we made it in the middle, I want it to be smack dab in the middle. So we're gonna use mirror command on pad. We're gonna use mirrored extent. So it's going up and down and we need half of this length. So it's 70 divided by, 30, by two, it's 35. We got this. Now, we want to start drawing this thing right here, this little interesting pattern. As you can see, it repeats four times. So, where can we, how can we do this? Let's make a plane that goes right in the middle of this. Actually, we don't need to make it, let's go make it on top. So, we have to go from this plane and offset this plane that we had, the X and Y plane, up by half 28 and then by 7. So let's just do it like this. We don't want to do the maths by ourselves because it's boring. Let's just select the plane, then select the making plane thing. It's automatically going to select our plane type as the offset from plane. So we want half of 28, which is 14 and seven. We have basically got this little plane that's not, as you can see on top, it's right where we want it. So we can now go in sketch and start making our little thing. We want to start making these two circles because they're quite simple. So first things first, let's make ourselves some lines for, for, for construction. So select profile, select this to make the lines into construction lines that we will use as reference lines. We're going to need them. They're going to be very useful. Now deselect this. We do not need this command on anymore. Now we want our standard element. So let's just draw two little circles, one here and one here. Let's check how big these circles are. So it says 310. So there should be, there should be a radius of five or a diameter of 10 millimeters. So let's make it 10 millimeters. Now let's check how far away this one is from his. It's 40 and this one is 15. So let's select this little dot here and I select this one as well. Let's make this one 15 and let's make this one 40. Now let's check how far away from this line this is. It's 26 and this is 26 plus 17. So let's do that real quick. Get this, we want it to be 26 and this one we want 26 plus Oops, it's starting to write it down there. Watch out for that. So 26 plus 17. There we go. Now, let's make these outer little circles. If we zoom in, we can see the radius is 13. So let's just make another circle right in this one. 
and make it 13 times 2, which is 26. Another one here. 13 plus times 2, 26. Basically, we got these two spots. We can now mirror them down here. So we're just going to select this, this, and this. And we're just going to mirror it on the other side. And boom, we got our basic shape. The next part might seem tricky, but it's quite simple. So this is 72, this is 72, this is 72, and this is 72. And the last one is also 72. That's the radius. So what you do is make a big circle. Make sure this one is connected to the horizontal line. And as you can see, it has a coincidence with the horizontal line. Let's make it 72 times 2, which is 144 which is the diameter and now we can select this and this and if we go coincidence actually not coincidence sorry tangency it's going to make it tangent and because it's completely in the middle it should be touching this so if we select our trim command and trim this away we'll have this part now all we have to do is repeat this on all the other parts basically we can do this make another one don't make it connected with anything that's not good we don't want that Watch out for that and make it 144. Move it a little bit out. And now we want this and this to be tangent. And the other one as well, because now we're not using any support lines. We want this to be tangent. We can now trim it down and we can mirror it down here. There we go. Next up is this part. So we want to make it some way here. So if we look back down here, we have a little quarter that says it's 87 millimeters away. So let's just take this and offset it 87 millimeters. There you go. Let's make it into a construction line because we don't need it exactly. And let's make ourselves a line going. How, to, how big is this line? So it's 26. So it's minus 13 and up 13. There we go. Let's just make it fixed to this. Oh, it is fixed already. It looks like it's in a coincidence. That's great. Now we cannot move it exactly. We can move it only up and down, which is not that big of a deal. But what we can do is just fix this. We don't want this to be moved because we're going to again make a big circle. Oops, I wrote 144, 144 there. And we want it to be again tangent to this. And we want it to be a coincidence with this line because dot and a circle cannot be tangent. There we go. We can trim this down. There we go. And we can paste it on the other side with mirror. And basically, we got our general shape. Let's now get out. It's over constrained or inconsistent. Let me see what that problem is. We have a little problem. What is the problem? Oh, it's this. We can delete that. And I think it should be good. If you don't know a second thing, so should we check, check sketch analysis to your uh, tools. It's all the way at the bottom. And it's going to say what is closed, what is open. Ah, yes. I forgot this part as well. I forgot to trim these circles. So just trim this, 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 and this. And now it should be good to be padded. My mistake, this happens, but now it should be good. As we can see, the sketch is there. So basically, where we've drawn this is exactly on this plane. So we need to go down by seven. So use the sketch and pad it down. It seems like I can't do it. Let me see why I can't do that. Uh, 
I don't know exactly why it doesn't let me do it. Let's just try it again. Okay, I guess that's that was the mistake. So seven millimeters. There we go. We basically got this part. Now we can use the mirror command. So select this pad that we made, mirror command, and select our X and Y plane. And we want it to be copied down here. There we go. We've made basically this part. Now we want to make this part. This one is going to be a bit complicated. So stay with me. Let's get into this face and start from the top. Let's, so we only need to look at this. We don't really need to look at this. We need to look at this. Now we need to know the length of this. Basically for the length, the only thing I think we can do is go 250 millimeters here, draw the circle and make everything here. I delete the circle later. All right. So we're going to go make the circle at 250. So H has to be 250. You have to make it 250. Don't try and find it by a mouse. We want it to be staying here in a coincidence. The circle, let's check how big it is just for reference. So 35. The diameter is 35. Now we got this point. We should, we could start from here, but remember, we need this to be filled as well. So, because we have a little bit of spacing here, right here, right here, we need to start somewhere here. So let's just make a line. Let's go up. We want it to be actually keep it like that actually no keep it like this 26 26 we want it to be a little bit far from here let's make it actually we can make it more than 10 let's make it 20 now let's just make this little dot be half from 26 which is 30 now it's smack dab in the middle. Let's just get rid of these constraints. And now this should be connected with the circle. The good, the good way we can do this is draw another line, make it how much? 18 in the end. So 18. Also, we'll need another circle just so you know here. We're gonna need it later, so you'll see why. Now let's make these two things tangent and let's make this from the middle half of 18, which should be nine. Oops, it looks like because it's up there, we'd have to make it a minus nine, minus nine. Okay, it's not letting us do that. Let's just move it up. And now select this and this and now make it nine it should be centered perfectly now we can just basically oops oh yeah i forgot about that so it should be from here to here connected and from here here connected and it should go all the way back to this one this should be a straight line my mistake I'm sorry for that now we need to make this little radius here like that so it should be 26 here and going all the way through but because it's going down a little bit it can like go through this and it's not gonna be connected and it's gonna be bad okay so let's do this select these two parts and make it what is the radius 35 35 and actually select this one and the bottom one make it 35 as well there we go we don't need this anymore we'll keep just half of this circle as well oops because we don't really need this. Okay, 
we won't do that, I guess. I'll skip this part. All right, now that you've trimmed everything that you've done, needed to trim, now we can actually pad this. Let's pad it. It's gonna go down. So select it to go down. We don't need it to be mirrored. And we wanna make it 42 millimeters down. Now that we've done that, you see this looks pretty well made. This is basically how it looks like from the side. I just need to get rid of this part. So let's select this plane, the ZNX plane, and look at it from the side. Now, the complicated part is to make this. It's going to be a little bit hard. Basically, I don't think we need this at all. We just need, yeah, we need just this part. So let me just select again a side view. I guess that one's good. Select this line right here, make it a projection line. Select this line as well, make it a projection line as well. Now we want to make it 18 millimeters again. So let's just do this. Oops, again, I selected this I accident with my shortcuts. There we go. Let's make this 18. Follow along carefully now. This has to be yeah, 9, basically. Get it all the way back here so we don't have to look at it. We can delete this. We don't need it. And now we're going to connect actually yeah we are gonna do that we're gonna connect oops again an accident and all the way up here oh we're not gonna connect it with that actually yeah that's making a little bit of a problem don't project this delete this make this a projection actually we want it to be on that part 87 we want it to be on 87 make a line here and make a line over here this is 14 this is minus 14 now we have to make this 78 so let's make a big circle make it 78 times 2 get a little bit up Select this dot, the circle, let's check if we coincidence it. Thank God the circle moved. And now we could try to do this. Make a line. It's going from here to here. Now just move it around so it the way it looks good to you. This does not help to be too specific because we did not get any more like how do I say this constraints on where this radius is, just this needs to be a radius of seventy eight. This would seem like the line has to go by two degrees, I think upwards. So let's try and see that. So this should be 92. And now it's going upwards by 92 degrees. And I guess that is it. We can now trim this part. We can now copy it as well on the other side. Whoops, look at how that moved. Let me just fix this. Anchor it down so it does not move. Now it did not move. Mirror it down here. Delete this line and this one as well. And now we just need to delete everything around here. So delete this, this, and that. We're basically going to use pocket and get all of this out. Let's hope this across 
profile. Let's see how it's going to work when we use pocket. So mirrored on both sides. Let's check it out. It seems good. What's left to do is just make the circle again that was here. So the circle was 250. Oops, that's not a circle. This is a circle. So 250, 30, what was it again? 35. It looks like it's going nicely and smack that middle. Now we can just pat it back down, downwards by 42. And if you look at it a little bit from the side angles, it should be perfect. So this, as you can see, is like that. From the top, it is basically what you see here. All that's left are the little holes that we gotta make. So select this surface, select the hole command. Let's quickly finish with these. The diameter is 52. Depth, let's make it up to next, all the way through. And for this one, it's 24 all the way through. Now we have to make this. This is gonna be a little bit hard because I don't know exactly <laughs> how deep it is yet. We have to figure that out. What is this depth right here? So let's first try and make this. Let's go in this sketch. And let's just make it. As of last episode, we use it, used this, the elongated hole command. Make sure it's in the middle. The length we can know, actually, 150. So we want the length to be 150. And we want the radius to be 6. And from here to this point, let me just do that. So we want this to be 250, 0. We want this and this, oops. So this and this to be exactly 30. And that should be it for this part. We just now have to figure out the depth from here to here. So if we are on 14, 14 plus 7, which is 21, so 21, we can go 21 minus 2.5, and, and that's the depth. So select this, select pocket, and go 21 minus 2.5. 2.5 and if we mirror this on the other side let's select this pocket mirror it using this this should be five millimeters apart so let me check if we can see that let me see if we have dimensions constraint yes we do and it is five millimeters Perfect. That is probably it. Let me check it out. We can hide this. We don't need to see this anymore. Let's check it out here. Have we made all of the holes? All of these holes are made. The big holes are also made. And this elongated hole is made with the five millimeters distance from both sides. This should be 320 millimeters wide, which, 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 which is probably, which it probably is. We've made our second rod. Let's now apply the material to add the finishing touches, mostly. So apply the material. This is going to be made out of steel. All the other parts are made out of steel, except the aluminum rings, uh, not the aluminum rings, the piston head. 
which is made out of an aluminum alloy and also the piston ring which is made out of actually it's also still made out of steel my bad i'm sorry so that is it for this let me check how it looks like once it's in steel that looks pretty good let's now save it in our little folder we got the second rod next up are these little link pins and these other piston pins they're pretty simple to make so let's do them real quick so let's start again make our part design piston piston pin let's see how they are called exactly so it's this is the second one, the third one, the fourth one, the fifth one, and this is the little casing. Okay. Got the upper bush, lower bush, the piston pin. Okay, let's call this one the link pin, like it is called. So let's just call it link pin. We're making it first it's pretty simple to make let's just make it here make a circle a small one is then let's go inside make this just then go up by how much 50 minus 7 so 43 make another circle and this one is 15. Get out, pad it. This is going to be just silly. Save the link pin. There we go. We got to exit this one, make a new one again. Part design. This one is going to call be called. Let me check the picture first. So they're using numbers to connect them. This is the assembly picture we'll need for the future. So let's call them just the numbers now. This was the, this was the second one. Let's call them, let's call them Bush. This is going to be Bush three. So Bush three, Bush three is pretty simple to make. Just make two circles. Let's check the bigger one, how big it is. It is 24. And the smaller one is 22. Exit it out. Pad it real quick. It is 42. Millimeter is big. Save it. It's bush tree. Get out. Make a new one. Part design. Bush four right yep that's bush four we're making bush four get in pretty simple i might skip this part because this and this and this are all the same just just different sizes and uh different diameters so this part will be skipped to this part and with, with the magic of editing, we are, we are here. We've done all of the other parts. We just need to make the piston ring. It's also pretty simple, but I just want to show you this part, which is quite interesting to make. So let's real quick go here into Katia, make this small, these two circles that we have to make. Make this one 43 and this one 47. There we go. Let's get out real quick. Pat it up. It's only three millimeters thick because this is the ring. And now let's go in this. And real quick, let's draw a line going here. Let me check if it's completely in the middle. It's not really important. It's not that important, but it looks like it is in the middle. 
So go in a line here and a line going up here. And we just want to make this. So delete this little thing. So this won't move, but this will move once you move select the trees. So it is 135 degrees, which would be minus 90. Uh, let's make another very interesting angle. It should be 45 degrees. So let's check 45 degrees. Yep, that's it. And it's one millimeter thick, it would seem. So if we just make a rectangle like this, it should be a this kind of a rectangle. I also need another line if we want to make that rectangle. So if we select the center, actually not the center parallelogram, we just need a par parallelogram. So this is the point we're going to start. We want it to be like this. Okay, that's a mistake. We want it to go somewhere here. Like we want this part to be just one millimeter. There we go. Now we can delete all of this. Should be possible now to just use pocket and it all contains an open profile that means the line that's inside we did not delete so if we delete this and select the line there we go now we can use pocket to make it up to next and there we go, we got this part cut. What we actually did was make it possible for this to now get a little bit more free, more loose, so it can be put in the piston. That's it, let's just apply the material. I hope I forgot to do that in the other bushings, so don't forget to do that. You don't really have to do that. We don't even need to make this in steel, we can just make it black. Let's check how it looks like. There we go, it's just black. We have made the piston ring. Let's save that here. And with that, we've made all of the parts. The next video, the last video is assembly. I'm gonna go and show you how to assemble things. I've never made a video showing how to use assembly, but so I'll try and show you the basics and maybe in the future make a video that shows you how to assemble things or maybe that video is just gonna be the video that teaches you how to use assembly now that we have the parts you followed along or you've made the parts by yourself it's time to do the assembly so that is that for this video thank you for watching if you like the video like it if you've learned something new if you can't wait for the last video to come out subscribe so you know when it comes out Have a good day, evening, or morning, and bye-bye.